in the heart of the Surrey countryside, the strains of a beautiful sonata. The pianist doesn't just play it like a dream, she composed it as well, last year when she was six. I had the theme when I was very young, and it, it, it was very mysterious. So it's all, 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 all. Now at the ripe old age of seven, Alma has written her first opera, The Sleeper of Dreams. Where do you get the ideas for your compositions? When I'm improvising, then I said, then I have lots of ideas. And normally when I try to think of ideas, it doesn't come. Of course, no self-respecting child prodigy would be a virtuoso in just one instrument. Alma writes for the violin as well. Her parents say her talents were evident early on. Well, it was striking that when she was about three, she heard a lullaby by Strauss, by Richard Strauss. And she came to us and said, how can music be so beautiful? She was so struck by the beauty of it. So, coming up at five o'clock. And those working in the music industry are impressed by what they've heard. It's very unusual for a child of seven to even know what an opera is, let alone think about composing one herself. So it's an astonishing feat, and I just hope that she'll go on to develop and achieve and maximise on the potential that she's showing at the moment. Alma's next project is a concerto for the cello. The world of music will be taking note. John Brain.